Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. This 54 days are going to do GCSE Maths exam. Today we're going to look at the topic of collecting like terms. So if you've got expressions, how to collect those like terms. And this is quite a useful topic because it might be that you're given a question that's on collecting like terms, but it might be you have a question that involves expanding brackets and then simplifying, or maybe you need to form an expression or something like that. So if you get the revision cards, card number 50 is on collecting like terms, that'll be a useful card for you as well. So in this video, we're going to look at collecting like terms. At various points during this video, I'm going to ask you to pause and try some questions yourself. So give those a try and hopefully get those right. And also remember, in the description below is the practice questions. So let's get started. Hi, today's topic is collecting like terms. So we're going to look at how to answer questions involving collecting like terms. And it's also important that you know how to collect like terms because you might have to do it within other questions, perhaps if you're forming and solving an equation and something like that. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some examples. Feel free to pause each one before I do it to give it a shot yourself and then press play to see if you got it right. Okay, so our first question says simplify y plus y plus y plus y subtract y. So feel free to press pause and to try this question out yourself. Okay, so if I was doing a question like this, we're just collecting the like terms. So y plus y is 2y plus another y is 3y plus another y is 4y. But then we're going to take away one of the y's. So if we have four y's and we're taking away y, that would be 3y. So the answer would be 3y. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. And remember to press pause and try it yourself. So the question says simplify 3x plus 3x. So if we had 3x plus 3x altogether, that would be 3x's plus another 3x's would be 6x's. So the answer would be 6x. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time we've been asked to simplify 3x subtract 8 plus 7x plus 6. So again, feel free to press pause and to try this question yourself. Okay, so if we had a question like this, we need to collect the like terms. So let's start off with the x's to begin with. We've got 3x's and then we've got plus 7x's. And 3x's plus 7x's would be 10x's. So that'd be 10x. Okay, now let's have a look at the numbers. We've got take away 8 plus 6. Now if we take away 8 plus 6, so that's the same as just taking away 2. Or another way to think of it, if we had negative 8 and we added 6, that'd be negative 2. So just be minus 2. So just to recap, we have 3x plus 7x is 10x. And then minus 8 plus 6 would be minus 2. So the answer would be 10x minus 2. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, feel free to press pause and try this one yourself. So the question says to simplify 7x plus y subtract x plus 5y. So let's do with each of the letters separately. So let's start off with the x's. We've got 7x, take away x. And 7x's, take away x, would be 6x. Fantastic. Now let's deal with the y's. So we've got y plus y, so that's plus 1y. So we've got 1y plus another 5y's. And 1y plus 5y would be 6y's, so that's going to be plus 6y. So if we had 7x plus y subtract x plus 5y, the answer would be 6x plus 6y. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question we've been asked to simplify 8x take away 3y plus x take away 2y. And again, feel free to press pause and try this question out yourself. Okay, so let's start off by dealing with the x's. We've got 8x's plus x. Well, 8x's plus 1x would be 9x. Now, let's deal with the y's. We've got minus 3y minus another 2y. Well, if we take away 3y and then take away another 2y, that's the same as just taking away 5y. So the answer would be 9x minus 5y. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time, we've got 5x squared subtract 3y squared plus y squared plus 2x squared. So again, we've been asked to collect the like terms. Feel free to press pause and try this question now yourself. So let's deal with each of the terms. So here we've got the x squared terms. So let's deal with the x squared terms to begin with. We've got 5x squared plus 2x squared. Well, 5x squared plus 2x squared would be 7x squared. And now let's deal with our y squared terms. So we've got minus 3y squared plus y squared. Well, if we've got minus 3y squared, and then we add another y squared, that's going to be bringing us back up. So it's going to be minus 2y squared. So if we had 5x squared minus 3y squared plus y squared plus 2x squared, the answer would be 7x squared subtract 2y squared. And that's it. Okay, now let's have a look at another question. So this time we've been given a rectangle and we've been asked to write an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle and we've got the length of the rectangle and we've got the width of the rectangle. So sometimes whenever you're dealing with collecting like terms, it might be you're finding the perimeter of a shape or something like that where you happen to collect the like terms whenever you're adding up the terms around the outside of the shape or something like that. So the collecting like terms question may be in context. And that's why it'd be quite useful to try the practice questions today as well. Okay, so the question says write an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle. So remember the perimeter is what we find when we add up the distances around the outside of a shape. So here we've got the perimeter of the rectangle. So we've got the length, the width. Now in terms of the length, well, the opposite sides have got the same length. So it's going to be 4x plus 5 there. And in terms of the left-hand side, because the right-hand side is 2x, that means the left-hand side would be 2x also. So we want to find an expression for the perimeter of this rectangle. So we need to add up these terms. We need to collect the like terms. 
So let's deal with the x's to begin with. So let's start with the left-hand side. We've got two x's plus four x's. That's going to be six x's plus another two x's. That's eight x's plus another four x's. That's 12 x's. So we've got 12 x's. Now let's deal with our numbers. We've got plus five plus another five and five plus five would be 10. So then be plus 10. So if we were asked to find an expression for the perimeter of this rectangle, the answer would be 12 x plus 10. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got some brackets involved and we've been asked to simplify three bracket two x minus one close brackets plus four open brackets x plus five close brackets. So we've been asked to simplify this. So feel free to press pause and to try this question out yourself. So if I was asked to simplify this, the first thing I would do is I would expand my brackets. So I'm going to multiply what's inside the bracket by the term outside. So I'm going to multiply both of these by three and I'm going to multiply both of these by four. So three times two X would be six X. Then we've got a minus and then three times one will be equal to three. So expanding three bracket two X minus one would be six X minus three. And if you think about it, three lots of two X minus one would be six X minus three. So we've expanded our first bracket. Now let's expand our next one. So we've got plus and then we've got four times X is four X and four times five is 20. So plus 20. So we've expanded our brackets. Now we just need to collect the like terms. So we've got 6x plus 4x and 6x plus 4x is 10x. And then we've got minus 3 plus 20. And minus 3 plus 20 is 17. So plus 17. So if we were asked to simplify 3 bracket 2x minus 1 close brackets plus 4 open brackets x plus 5 close brackets, the answer would be 10x plus 17. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So this time we're going to simplify 8 bracket 5x minus 3 close brackets subtract 3 bracket x minus 2 close brackets. So we've been asked to simplify this and again feel free to press pause and to try this question out yourself. Okay, so to do this we're going to expand the brackets. So let's expand the first bracket to begin with. 8 times 5x would be 40x and then we've got minus and 8 times 3 would be 24. So we've expanded our first bracket. Now we need to be particularly careful with this next bracket because we've got minus 3 here. So we're multiplying what's inside the bracket by minus 3. So minus 3 times x would be minus 3x and then minus 3 times minus 2. Well negative times a negative is a positive and 3 times 2 is 6. So minus 3 times minus 2 would be plus 6. So you need to be careful whenever you expand in a bracket and there's a minus sign in front of it because you're multiplying what's inside by that minus 3 in this case. So we've expanded our brackets, now we just need to collect our like terms. So let's deal with our x's, 40x take away 3x, that's going to be 37x. And then we've got minus 24 plus 6, and minus 24 plus 6, we're going back up, 6 would be minus 18. So the answer would be 37x minus 18, and that's it. And that's it, so in this video we've looked at how to collect like terms, I hope you found it useful. And keep up the hard work you've been working through these videos now for quite some time and if you've been watching them all so far you deserve a medal so keep it up and um, i'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock for the next video cheers bye